Welcome to the spoken tutorial on creating newsletters. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create newsletters in LibreOffice Writer, use column break option, check the word count. We will also learn to add the following to the newsletter image and banner, text animation, and watermark. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5. The files used in this tutorial are provided to you in the code file links on this tutorial page. Please download and extract the file. Make a copy and then use it for practicing. Newsletters are publications which get circulated regularly to its subscribers. It is used to communicate latest news, new ideas and events. Newsletters usually have multi-column format. This makes it easier for the reader to look at different sections. A newsletter can be created very easily using LibreOffice Writer. This makes Reading of articles easier and faster. Open the file newsletter.odt. The same is available in the code files link for practice. We will now learn how to insert columns in our document. In the sidebar deck, click on the page icon. Click on the styles gear icon to open the page style dialog box. Click on the Columns tab. Under Settings, select the two columns with equal size icon. Under Width and Spacing, Auto Widths get checked and spacing is 0.5 cm. Click on the Apply button and then on the OK button. Close the sidebar deck. Observe that our document changes into two columns format. Alternatively, we can add columns by clicking on the Format menu and then on the Columns option. Now, let us insert an image into our newsletter. Place the cursor at the end of column 2 and press Enter thrice. Click on the gallery icon in the sidebar. Below the button New Theme, we can see various theme folders. I will select the computers folder. Then select computer laptop black from the list. Right click and select the insert option. Alternatively, we can also drag and drop the image. Close the sidebar deck. The inserted image fits the width of column 2 into which it was inserted. Resize the image as shown. So, this is how we can add an image to the newsletter column. Next, we will learn about the column break option. I will keep the cursor at the beginning of the fourth paragraph. Now, click on the insert menu in the menu bar and then on more breaks. From the sub menu, select manual break. Insert break dialog box opens up. Under the section type, select the column break option and click on the OK button. We can see that the paragraph shifted to the second column of the page. Repeat the above step for the last paragraph also. We see that the paragraph is now in page 2 of the newsletter. Next. We will learn how to highlight a portion of the article in a different color. Select the paragraph on page 2 by dragging the cursor along the text. In the formatting toolbar, click on the highlight color icon drop down. From the color palette box, select any color of your choice. I will select light line 3. Click anywhere else to deselect the text. Observe that. The background color of that text 
portion has changed as per our selection. Next, we will learn how to add banners to the newsletter. Scroll up and place the cursor at the end of column 2 on page 1. Now, locate the stars and banners icon in the drawing toolbar. Click on the down arrow to expand the options. We see different shapes to choose from. Let us select horizontal scroll. Come to column 2. Hold the left mouse button and drag the shape in the empty space of column 2. Click anywhere else to deselect the shape. Now, let's move the newly added banner to the beginning of the document. First, go to page 1 and place the cursor before the word pause in column 1. Now, press enter key 4 times. Repeat the process for column 2 also. Come back to the banner and click on it to select it. Now, drag and place it in the empty space in between columns 1 and 2. Inside the banner, we can type any text of our choice. Double click inside the banner and type, this is a newsletter. Now, press Ctrl plus A keys to select the full text. Center align it. Increase the font size to 16. Make the text bold. Now, click anywhere else to deselect the banner. We can even add effects to our newsletter. I will demonstrate how to do so. Select the heading pause. Now go to the format menu and select character. Character dialog box opens up. Click on the font effects tab. Under the relief or effects section, check the blinking option and click on the OK button. We can see that the word pause is blinking. This effect is useful to draw the attention of the readers of the digital newsletter. Now, let's learn how to add a watermark. Watermark is used to indicate that the document is to be treated in a special way. For example, confidential, private, etc. Let me demonstrate how to add a watermark. Go to the format menu in the menu bar and select the watermark option. Watermark dialog box opens up. In the text field, type for internal circulation. Increase the transparency to 70% and change the color to light red 3. Then click on the OK button. We can see our watermark is added to the newsletter. Lastly, we will learn about the word count feature in Writer. Word count feature helps to maintain word count in a document. It helps us to know the number of words in the document which we typed. It also counts pages, paragraphs, lines and characters. Select the last paragraph which we had highlighted earlier. Observe the word count that is displayed in the status bar. Click on the word and character count in the status bar. The word count dialog box opens up. It shows the word count for the current selection and also for the whole document as well. It also shows the total count of characters including spaces and excluding spaces. Close the word count dialog box by clicking on the close button. Save all the changes and close the file. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned how to create newsletter in LibreOffice Writer, use column break option, check the word count. We also learned to add the following to the newsletter image and banner, text animation, and watermark. As an assignment, open practice.odt file, provide it to you 
the code file links. Use three column option format. Add a banner and type the text spoken tutorial in it. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. For more details, please contact us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. The Spoken Tutorial project is funded by MHRD Government of India. This tutorial was originally contributed by Desi Crew Solution Private Limited in 2011. This is Prati Kamble along with the Spoken Tutorial team from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for watching.